What's up YouTube? Lad Ladderson here installing a flywheel and clutch today on this Ford 1979 2.3 liter. That's me miming the uh, installation of the pilot bearing. That's what the tip of your input shaft for your um, transmission will go into. Uh, you just simply grease up that hole. You want to find a, a socket that fits around the outside of that pilot bearing and then just gently tap it in. It'll take a while but make sure you seat it properly. Here's the flywheel. You want to clean off the backside so there's uh, no debris in the way that would cause it to seat unevenly. Slide it in uh, on the end of the crank. You're going to have to rotate it until you find all the holes that line up. Most of them have an irregular hole pattern so they will only fit one way. Put all the bolts in. There's a school of thought on whether you use Loctite in the beginning or the end. You can Google that if you want. Tighten up all the bolts in kind of star pattern to make sure it pulls tightly to the back of the crank. And once you've got them all tight, you're going to pull out your torque wrench. Now here I used a, uh, an Allen wrench to pass through one of the holes in the flywheel and uh, catch itself on the casting of the back. And that stops the flywheel from spinning. Otherwise, you're not going to apply the proper torque specs. And then work your way around in the star pattern. There is an actual pattern if you look for it. Basically, it just alternates across the block. Now the motor's going to rock either if you have it hung or sitting on the ground like this. Um, I've got it hung from a chain hoist and it's also resting on the ground on a blanket. Get that torque to spec, and then you're going to uh, install the, the clutch. So the clutch disc, or the bulk spring side faces out, and the flat spring side uh, faces in. You put your tool in there to make sure you have the right uh, uh, alignment of the clutch plate and the flywheel and the disc itself. Tighten along the outside, and then reinstall the final cover. That's it, YouTube. Make sure you follow the torque specs. I'll leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And have a great day.